once again i bring greeting in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ and i bring a word of knowledge from the book of isaiah chapter 9 verse 1 and 2 bible say for Zebulun and naturally that have been in darkness they will see the light he said those who walk in the shadow of death they will see light the same thing applies in the book of matthew chapter 4 from verse 12 through 15 Bible say, according to the word of prophet Isaiah, that Zebulon will see light. I don't know who you are, I don't know where you are. In this season, wherein our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth came as a high priest to offer himself as an offering for our atonement and purification, the light of God will shine upon you. Though you find yourself in the shadow of death, in the valley of death, I pray the light of God will revive you. Apostle Paul pray this prayer that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, the spirit of God that came to the tomb where Jesus Christ was buried and brought him back to life. That's his spirit has been given unto you in your rebirth. I pray by that true spirit, life afresh will come upon you in the name of Jesus, whatever seems look appear or have darkness to be dead within your physical being, the life of God, the zoe of God, the quickness, spirit of God, come upon you and revive you in Jesus' name. The word of God says, If Christ has not resurrected, then our faith in Him will have been in full time. Brother and sister, listen to me. John chapter 8, verse 12 say, Christ is the light. And because that light shines in you, you will reflect the light of God. Every gray areas in your life, every dark areas in your life, when you have no knowledge of what you are going through or coming your way, I pray the light of God shine. When you have a confused mind, you don't know what to talk to, who to talk to, or where to go, or who to go with in your journey of life and destiny, the light of God will direct you. In the name of Jesus, when you walk in the daytime, you cannot stumble. When you walk in the night, night you are bound to make mistakes and stumble. I pray for you that in your journey, I pray the light of God will guide you. You will not stumble, you will not fall by the wayside. The Spirit of God will continue to minister to you in, in your marriage or marital life. God will shine light upon you in your career, in your academic. I say the light in your finances. God will shine light unto you. In this season, I pray the light of God manifest in your family to restore peace and comfort and tranquility in your family, in, in your business and your investment. The peace of God will manifest through His life. Bible says Moses stand in the presence of God for 40 days and 40 nights. When he descended from that mountain, none of the Israelites I could look at it because Bible said he reflected the light of God. The fire, his face was like a fire. I pray as we continue to tarry in the word of God, which is God, light of God will shine through you. It will shine through your children, children. It will try shine through your spouse, your husband, your wife. If that light will manifest in your endeavor, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, tarry in this presence, brother and sister, accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and personal Savior. You will reflect that light. God bless you till I come your way again. Enjoy yourself in the Lord. God bless.